Hi everyone. Welcome to this Arduino time. In today's tutorial, we will be looking forward for interfacing a seven segment display with an Arduino. This will be my last topic on the basics of Arduino and after this video, I'll be straightforwardly moving to the LCD screen or the LCD display projects. Like, uh, okay, <laughs> I won't reveal it now. You will just have a go on it in the future videos which will be coming very soon to you after this. Alright, so without wasting any time, we will move on to our tutorial. First of all, we need to know what is this? Yeah, what can you see here? A rectangular uh, box having some about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 10 spikes around it and uh, something written as 8. Now, this digit 8, this digit represents alphabetical letters. What is basically a 7 segment display? You must have seen this in digital clocks or we can say some calculators or we can say some other numerical devices such as the mobiles or we can say the TVs or the what we can say digital clocks which we use uh, daily in our uh, lives or in our daily course so what is a seven segment display it is something or we can say a device which is in a form of an electronic display device or we can say a device especially a device made to display the numerical decimal values and this segment display device shows us this numerical display decimal values in the terms of dot matrices if you see this line this line this line this line this 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 and this these are all the dot matrices I'll come back to you what are dot matrices now have a very close look on this all right you can see here a dash all right the what we can say the upper part of eight this what I'm trying to highlight you here is the a part we will name these eight parts with eight different alphabetical letters all right this part is the a part this is the B below this is the C this is the D this is E this is F and this is G all right I will come back to what is this A B C D E F and G all right now we will look on how can we get numbers like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 9 on this very very small device as I've told you earlier this is the A part all right this is the A part and this is the B part so when this G part as the middle line is off and all the other parts are on then you get a zero on this display did you get this this middle line is off and rest all lines are on that means all the other lines will glow but this middle line won't glow so what number does it indicate it indicates zero and same happens for the numbers like zero one two three four five six till nine so how will you identify one on this display for identifying one on display you need to on this B and C look logically look I will tell you if I hide all those things what is left whatever left is yes what's left is one so if I keep this segment or this dot matrix and this dot matrix that is B and C on and the rest all are off so what I get is one yes perfect so now we understood the basics of the LED display or we can say the LCD display now we are ready to do our project alright take this is a 10 pin common anode display 
I will come back to you, to you what's common anode and what's common cathode. All right. So I will connect this in this breadboard here. All right. Here we go. I've connected this on my breadboard. Now the first connection you have to do is take a wire. All right. Take a wire. Put it in the pin number one of the LCD display and put it in the Arduino's digital pin number six. Watch very carefully what I'm doing. Digital pin number six, the pin number one of my display is been attached to pin number six of the digital PWM port six. All right. So now start connecting as I am detecting you what connections to be made. Now pin number two is connected straightforward to pin number five of the digital of the Arduino. Now then pin number three pin number three has been connected here and we will connect it somewhere here alright we connect it somewhere here. Take a resistor of 220 ohms alright take a resistor of 220 ohms and put it here yes anyway alright I have put it here to 120 ohms the third pin of this display is going to the resistors one end alright now put, get another resistor and insert it anywhere on the breadboard alright I am doing it a bit faster take push button here here is a push button insert it anywhere on the breadboard insert it anywhere on the breadboard as well again start doing it according to the schema which I have shared on the story all right start doing it according to it all right so it looks a freaky circuit all right but it's very simple now I'm gonna tell you how it actually connected the seven segment displays pin number one yeah the pin number one is connected to digital digital pin pin number six of the Arduino pin number two is connected to digital pin number five Pin number 3 is connected to the 220 ohms resistor 1 end. Pin number 4 is connected to the pin number 4 of the digital pins of the Arduino. Alright. From up here, the first pin, it's pin number 5 that's been connected to the pin number 9 of the Arduino. Alright. The pin number 6 is been loaded the code we will get a 0 right here and this push button will increment this 7 segment display as you can see 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's the limit of till the 9 number is the limit of this uh, 7 second display after if you press the increment push button again you will get a 0 that means it resets itself again after 9. This is a decrement counter. That's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So in short, the first button here, push button, increments the counter or we can see the 7 second display and the second button decrements the counter. Again, I will show you here. 1, 2 and we'll decrement it to 0. Sorry. 2, 1, 0. Alright, that's all folks and I 